This time last year he was watching it, now not only has he been on it, he's been fired from it. Simon, the senior satellite engineer who's the first to admit he behaved a little bit like David Brent from The Office at times, has seen the sharp end of Sir Alan's finger, which isn't a pretty sight. I was crestfallen, I was very disappointed, but I did know going into the boardroom that I would be going home that day. So there is a mixture of relief as well that he's, I wanted a quick execution and, and, and Sir Alan was very kind, he put me out of my misery. It's like, Simon, you know, you're not quite up to it. Um, and it was the right decision. After managing the losing team in a photography task, he even shed a manly tear or two. But getting the axe from The Apprentice isn't the end of the road for Simon, and he's not going to let it get him down. I went in to get Sir Alan's job. I didn't, so it's back to doing what I did before. Um, but, you know, everybody, everybody's got their own reasons for doing it, and mine were entirely honourable. It's get Sir Alan's job. Um, and if I didn't do that, I was going to go back to what I did before. And I'm, I've worked out I'm a much better worker than I am a manager. <laughs> so uh, I'm going back to work. The show is a huge success, both in the boardroom and in the living room, where most of us tune in weekly to see who will go next. So why is it so popular? Well, Simon thinks he's got the answer. I, th I think people like to see car crash TV. They like to see people under pressurised situations unravel. All the apprentice gold moments are the bad decisions and the, the silly things that we all do. And you know, when you get fired, you're going to look a bit silly. And as long as you can laugh at yourself and think, well, I'll give it, I'll give it 100%. Sir Alan usually gets the final word, but this time, let's give it to Simon. You know, when that finger comes across the desk and you're fired, it is, you, you not, it knocks the stuffing out of you. And I think everybody's you're not going to find it. Whoever goes next week is going to find it equally as hard because, you know, you've gone in there, you've, you've put yourself right up on offer. Seven million people are watching you every week, watching your every move, and, and you, you're under the microscope. And it's nice to be out now. You know, I've, it was a wonderful time I had, but all over now.